Hey, what is up, guys? This is Nero Doris, and today we're going to talk about the five financial mistakes that I made as a seafarer. Welcome back, guys. So, we are back for another video, and in this video, we will talk about uh, the five financial mistakes that I made as a seafarer. Now, a quick disclaimer guys, this is in no way, shape or form describing the seafarers out there. I know that these are my mistakes and maybe you are doing some of it. I hope you're not. So the first mistake that I did is that I was overspending. I was spending money faster than I'm able to earn them. And I think that is the mistake most seafarers make. Now the thing is, during college days, we are really deprived of the privilege of having able to buy different things for ourselves simply because maybe our parents are strict our parents are really not into letting us buy different stuff that we don't need and they are basically already teaching us how to control ourselves from different temptations around us and I think that was the lesson that I didn't pick up it was really late for me to pick that up and I learned it the hard way you know during my first year at being a seafarer, I was spending money on everything, every gadget, every new phone, new laptops, new headsets, whatever, etc, 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 until such time that I needed to go home. Not that I wanted to go home, but I needed to go home because my father died. I have to go home. I was broke. So you get the story. I wasn't able to go home because I was, I was thinking that if I will go home, during that time and I am broke then I wouldn't be any help to my family financially and it's a really bad timing guys so you should learn how to control overspending overspending is a really bad habit it should be immediately deleted from your system as much as possible if you could try to remove it eliminate it eliminate it totally it's okay to spend but you should know the difference of a want and a need and that's very crucial when it comes to saving so the second mistake that I made as a seafarer was that I am not saving and saving is a really big equation it's a really big topic but I think the mistake that I made was not saving to invest now a lot of times people will say that you will save so that you can buy a different gadget a different toy a different headset a different whatever whatever you like it's like overspending but you're just overspending intelligently so don't do that don't don't save so you could buy a new Montero don't save so you could buy a house those are really great things but I think you should be able to prioritize different things first you should save in order for you to invest so that later in time you would be able to stop working because you already have so many investments you have so many assets you can stop working simply because money is pouring in from your investments and that's a really great thing now the third mistake that I made as a seafarer now I am still making this one this is still a mistake that I make I am not saving for a life insurance now a lot of times people will say that I don't need life insurance right now and that's basically the truth you really don't need life insurance for now but that's also the reason why you are saving it's because you're saving it in preparation for something. You are preparing yourself for what might happen in the future. Now, why should you get insurance? This is often the question I hear my colleagues ask me. Why do I need insurance? I'm in really great shape. I am working really well. I am passing all my medical exams. But that's the thing. Our body will deteriorate over time. And when the time comes that you're no longer able to work and you want to apply for insurance it will be too late so there's no better time than now as early as possible you should start getting or acquiring an insurance it will be beneficial in the long run because once you start your own family and for the most part some of my friends they don't let their wives work so basically they are basically housewives they basically don't have any form of income coming in that's already a mistake and the worst mistake would be trying to add more mistake to that 
you're the only person who's earning in your family, what do you think will happen to them if time came that you're no longer able to work? Or if something bad happens to you? Now, you don't want that. You don't want to experience that. And you basically don't want that to happen. So, as early as now, start getting insurance. Now, the fourth mistake that I made as a seafarer is not giving tithes. Now, giving tithes or tithes is 10% of your income and is faithfully given to God. Now, tithing, it honors the religious scriptural principles of giving generously to your religious leaders, to those who are in need, or laying up treasures in heaven. Now, the good thing about tithing is that it encourages you. First, they encourage you to tithe. However, in tithing, I found it that it's easier for me to save simply because you are exercising the ability to share your blessings to those who are in need. And you, you don't want to be the one who is in need. You want to be the one who's always giving. So you should always keep that in mind. You should give tithes. As a seafarer, I know you can give tithes. Don't give any reason not trying to give tithes. If you will notice, most of the people who are really rich are those who are able to give. Like for example, Bill Gates. He have, he have a charity like Henry C. All those religious people, they are able to give a portion of their salary, a portion of their time to those who are in need. If ever you want to become rich, you need to be able to give. You need to be able to give tithes. And that's just a thing. That's the reality of it. So that is it guys. Thank you for watching our video. If you guys want to check out our page, The Millennial Seafarers, I will put a link in the description below. You can also check me out on Instagram and Facebook. I will also put a link in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.